Welcome to the Principles of Martial Art Motion, where we endeavour to help you with your martial art. I'm Colin, this is Simon. Today we're examining the idea of combining circular motion with a triangular destination. This is an important consideration for throwing people, but is also important in unsettling balance in general. If we imagine a 2D image, it's fairly easy to see that I can turn someone into a triangle. However, most people aren't going to be that easy to push over, so we have to think about it in three dimensions and use a three-dimensional triangle or tetrahedron. We covered off these ideas in tetrahedrons in martial arts, so please watch that video first to get a clear idea of what we're going to do in this video. <clears throat> we're going to build on those principles from that video. If you just use circular motion by itself, the other person is just simply going to get annoyed at some point and smack you one. If you just use a triangular destination by itself, then you could get into trouble. If you combine a circular motion and then do it, you can do all sorts of nice things. So what I'm doing here is my right hand is going up into a circle through Simon's jaw. My left hand is pulling Simon's elbow through to my right hip. Once achieved, then I'm going to work on that triangle. And as you can see, Simon is easy to push around. And I could go on. Now some might argue, what if we resist this initial circle that I'm doing? That's fine. Rather than fight it, I'll simply switch directions and set up other throws. So here I am trying that, someone doesn't like it, so now we switch a roux. And as you can see, someone's not fearing so good. Now, these things have all been about throws, but the idea still stands for strikes. For example, in bare knuckle boxing, a punch to the jaw tries to hit the jaw so that it moves in a circle and an upwards trajectory. Similarly, a punch at the midriff does so downwards. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe.